midnight each day. On Valentine's night. Time as you know it freezes. Twenty minutes past ten. Keep up, Doctor. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. I was at home. David as my husband. All on my lonesome. Stabbed him with a steak knife. Nothing changes. I'm a qualified angel of death. When I'm dancing. You get this date over and over. Hilda. I black out. I don't think she's got long. And the lorry just naked on the beach. Hannah. Is that it for today? David hunts. I can change my skin. Then skins. Dr. Decker dated his patients. I had a hot date. We went out for drinks. I took photos of Jessica. Dr. Decker did phone on Valentine's Day. And asked me for Nathan's number. There was a girl there. Am I wrong to keep the locket? I'm allowed to talk to her, aren't I? He was preoccupied with finding photographs, patterns, rocking chair. I haven't been back to the beach since. I had a bit of a shaky loop incident. Where I find something. I set fire. Beautiful. In the sea. To Hannah's clothes in the garden. I dug the grave. I wish I'd said goodbye. Dr. Decker, curse me. It didn't weigh enough to have a body in it. There's someone else in my hour. I brought David back to life. I removed the chains, dressed her. It was Iris. We could try shifting now. Would you like to see David, Doctor? <sighs> Sorry. We both read The Cult of the Kinetic Mind, and that broke. It's no coincidence that most psychokinetic patients are grateful if you could see your way to declaring me insane, or at least temporarily insane. There was no flame. And then there was. I'll kiss a guy. I pretended like the hypnosis had worked. And then he just follows me. Can we maybe not talk about Hannah anymore? Wherever I go. You may just still pull out in front of the driver. Welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming, where we are the voice inside your head. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Dynamite, the explosive when I was drinking water. We're playing Dr. Decker. Yep, it's Deckery Daddy. Oh, look at Mariana. She's all what? upside down with a short dress on. Yeah, she's extremely sexual. So, from the last video, we're on a brand new day. Oh, we have new people we to talk to. We have new people to talk to. We have Glenn, who, you Oh, know, God. He, he's an interesting looking guy. You can only see the back of his head. Oh, come on, turn around, Glenn. Clearly, he turn doesn't have any balding hair, which is good for is, his age. His name is Glenn. And he, there he is. Oh, there's yeah. Glenn. And what's, who's the other new person? Who does he look like, dude? He looks like, uh, who's from uh, Hot Fuzz? He looks like Simon Pegg a oh, little bit in the eh. face, right? All right, uh, then we have Scarlet, who I believe was an interesting looking lady. Oh, yeah, let's talk to her. She's got some cougar appeal to her, right? Yeah. Like, if I was desperate in 23, I'd definitely, uh, you know, talk to her at the company picnic. We got Jaya, who's wearing a stellar-looking dress, it looks like, but we're not going to get into that. We got Bryce, we got Claire, we got the usual yeah, suspects. Yeah, the same suspects. We'll start with Scarlet, though, Yeah, yeah she's we'll new. Hi! She's like, uh... Oh, man. Yeah, dude. dude if you get, me, you get me intoxicated enough at the company uh, Christmas party, I'm definitely... So we can either just say, who are you, or immediately ask her what she was doing on Valentine's hey, Day. Hey, what are you doing this Valentine's Day? Hey there, Scarlet! <laughs> All, All right. right, let's talk to Scarlet. Scarlet. She I drawn her been eyebrows since he died. Since Doctor Decker died. Okay, yeah, we know he died. All right, we're already on orange with her, which is great. Uh, tell me what you know about Decker, yeah. Scarlet. Yeah, yeah. Tell us. He was a complicated man, as Maybe I suppose she tried most to date him and he said no. His. External persona didn't match what he dreamed about. I hate her eyebrows because she draws them on. I mean, that's your personal opinion. Do you like them? I have no opinion on her eyebrows. You're a liar. I, what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an opinion on eyebrows. I don't care what girls do. To well, her she face. grabs a sharpie and she's like, "Hey TNT, you think I look sexy?" I mean, I didn't notice them immediately, so I don't really care. All right, I, I'm a big. That. I look at her brows. I mean, that's fair, dude. You're an eyebrow purist. Yeah, yes. All right. What does Doctor Decker dream about? Oh, his dreams were amazing. Filled with a spectrum of colors. Her teeth aren't that great either. It was like Narnia for grown ups. Narnia for grown ups. That was in the beginning. I don't know, they're alright. I thought she had a big old. Alright, well, how do you know what his dreams look like? Yeah, I think mm. that's a good question. To... What creatures were in Dr. Decker's dreams? How did Dr. Decker's dream change at the end? 
or the Valentine's Day question. All right, let's start out with. She's going to talk about she was like in his dream with him. She probably shares the dream. That's her power. That's what I was thinking. I'm sharing well. his dreams. All right, what do you know about his dreams? Or how I'm a dreamwalker. I can visit people and help them in their dreams. Oh my lord! You Every have single one of these. On all his old patient shit, then. We've not caught up on all of his old patient shit. I guess not. We got Glenn. Let's see. What creatures were in Dr. Doctor? I guess, yeah. Let's see what kind of creatures were in his dreams. What was the, what's the new question? How do you... Oh, how, oh, how do you dream walk? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, let's... Let's, yeah that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, you're right. Let's do that. It's something I've been able to do since I was little. I was born an identical twin, and my sister and I shared dreams. Oh, you shared dreams with We just your thought it was normal. Twin. When our younger brother started having night terrors, we helped him. I just need to know the person, a little, and know they're dreaming. Then I can sort of jump into them. Oh my lord. See, this is the point in the date where I ask for the check and uh, I try to exit as quickly as possible. Yeah. When they start talking like this, this where is they're the, just like the, the date's over with. In a former life, I was a fairy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Weren't we all, bitch? All right. Um, look, <laughs> <laughs> look. <laughs> all right. Tell me about jumping in. Yeah. Let's yeah. Let's, yeah, let's see about jumping into people. Let's keep going. It's something I think in my mind. Oh, it's Firstly, definitely in your mind. I need to sleep myself. I'm constantly tired, so I can pretty much sleep on demand. I can relate because you're boring. Before I go, I think of jumping into that person. That's how it works for me. I've tried teaching others, but I don't know if anyone else can do it. I want to say that's a hard no. Nobody else can do it. I want to say that no one can do it. All right, well, who have you taught? He, she hasn't taught anybody. Who have you taught? Let's find out about the creatures. Oh, yeah, yeah. Saw. He says like Narnia. Fluid. Fluid soft. soft. Intricate things. Oh, God. I couldn't draw a picture if you asked. I couldn't draw a picture. <laughs> but they drew you to them. They looked a little strange, but you felt compelled to watch them. What? This lady has some issues. Yeah, she's kind of weirding me out, too. I'm sure she has, like, five or six cats. Well, now, would how many drinks would it take for you to, you know, her personality a little bit? How many, what, uh, to, at the company at the Christmas party? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, she's still getting it, but I'm never talking to her again. <laughs> I can't go over her house and have all that cat hair all over my black t-shirts when I come home, dude. It's just not, no, I have allergies. <laughs> um... How did Dr. Decker's dream change in the end? Sure. Let's go. Chaotic. Dark. Like an earthquake, everything you stood on shifted into something else. I think he was fighting with something internally. And it was winning. Dr. Decker. Doctor. He said women. Dr. Decker's dreaming a lot about girls. What? Share something in common with you. No, she didn't, he, she didn't say women. I'm pretty sure she did. No, she didn't. What'd she say? She said it was winning. He, he was battling something internally, and, he, and it was winning. Oh, I thought it said it was women. No. <laughs> I was trying to delve deep into your own I don't, personal... I don't dream about women. Oh, okay. I like them. They're nice. I like them. They're nice. <laughs> All right, so what was he fighting? Uh-oh. I women. don't know. It's... A turn of phrase. Inner demons. Insanity. I don't know. She's so blasé about all this, I too. I can visit dreams, but I can't force the dreamer to interact with me. Yeah, she is very nonchalant about this whole thing. Like, we're just supposed to buy it. Yeah, right? All right, so she can get into dreams, but she can't influence them. Right. I'm wondering if we can utilize her ability to, to try to... Get into Mariana's head? See if she's dreaming about us? I don't, I don't know why you would go straight there, but... Jaya's head? See if she's To try about... to tease out some information so that we can get to the bottom of Dr. Decker. Stop drinking with the head between your legs. I want to get between the... Excuse me. I want to start... <laughs> See? <laughs> Freudian slips are just coming out of you all day long. 
<laughs> all right, who's sliding she all over slip the Freudian? Sliding, I mean, it would be slippery. Uh-huh. How? Who have you taught uh, this ability to, lady? I don't know. Lots of people. Whenever I get close enough to tell somebody about it, the first thing they want to do is try it out or have me visit their dreams. That's kind of why I'm here. Because she wants to visit us? Relationships. I, I don't know what she means. I, I'm a little confused. All right, let's ask her about Valentine's Day real quick. Well, I she... mean, we're just going on relationships. Okay. We can, I mean, they, they fit into each other. Let's go with that. It's difficult to sustain them. Because I'm a crazy person. I'm not just talking about romantic entanglements. It's hard keeping friends, too. Like I said before, I tell them about my ability and they immediately want to try it out. It's probably something you keep to yourself. I don't normally like what I see. Wow. So everybody is a deviant dreamer? I'm guessing. And she's like, I can't even be this person's friend now. Yeah, this lady needs to be locked up. Uh, why don't you like what you see, oh. or were you dating? Where Becker? did that come from? Hey, we'll we'll get there. Um, let's find out why she doesn't like what she sees in other people's dreams. Yeah, I agree. I think people try to show. <coughs> off. Firstly, they're a bit shocked if I turn up in their dream, but when they're comfortable with that, they start to put on a show. How about you just don't go in your friend's dreams? But most people can't control their dreams. So they tend to turn into nightmares pretty quickly. Oh, look. I'm dreaming of a giant Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Oh, why is it destroying New York? Go ahead. You, you Why got, are they you referencing got it. You got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. You got it. She's referencing Kojak, and now she's referencing Ghostbusters? Like, who wrote this? Like, an old-ass dude wrote this. <laughs> like, Kojak is earlier than I would meme about. Yeah. I mean, she looks about that age, right? She's in her 40s. What? She was like... Early 50s? I was going to say, she's, she's a little up there, dude. She's got a little wrinkly dinkly, you know hey. what I mean? Like I said, man, enough drinks at the company Christmas party. Uh, she look like Sandra Bullock with them glasses <laughs> on. <laughs> with the beer goggles. <laughs> uh, why do other people's dreams affect your relationships? Yeah, let's yeah, let's see what up. When you've experienced someone's dream, if they've been a bit creepy in it or terrified me, it's hard to look someone in the eyes after that. You see him banging the, somebody you don't want him to see. Embarrassing. What should I do, Doctor? Should I not tell people about my ability? Keep it a secret, bottle yes. it up. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, never speak of this day. Yeah, keep it a secret. Yeah, definitely keep that a secret. Yeah, because then they won't ask you to get into their head. Exactly. And then you don't have to worry about seeing them bang a Bengal tiger or something, whatever's going on weird in their dream. All right, uh, yeah, let's go with keep it a secret. I'm not sure that's healthy, but I guess I could give Who it a Who just try. meets new people? Like, by the way, I can what dream if it jump. accidentally comes out? Is there anything else I can do to stop pushing people away? It's You, you were the one deciding not to see them. Refuse to dream walk. Which is what Jaya would want us to say. Just want to and yeah. just put that disclaimer out there. Be honest. Accept. I like accept their just dreams. Because people can't necessarily control their dreams. Hmm. Hmm. Well, we're going to decide which one we're going to do on the next one anyway. So mm. we've got a minute to ponder it. So that's all the time we have for this episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. If you already did that. You know there's a notification bell you can hit. Jonas. TNT. We out. Uh,